There it is. MD just had to do it. Now, this is not the one that his servant can say eternal excellency to. So we sent it, you know, sent back the uh, original uh, photo and try it again uh, because uh, it, it really wasn't that dark of a setting like that. Yes, it was 8.25 p.m. at night, but um, it was more of a misty blue kind of gray, grayish, you understand. Um, but it wasn't that dark. And so um, they pulled the design out where they had one in blue, but it took away from the original. Um, and it looked like someone else could just like have put that together. We wanted the original one. You know, that one, that one night, uh, April the 25th, 2021, that night, that's what we really wanted, you know. Um, where you hear his servant say, is that a star? Is uh, That's a cross. Then we had to, uh, we left because like we were saying, this is, this is like crazy. And, uh, and so we went to come in and the spirit sent me right back and say, look at it again, look at it again. And I'm like, that's an X, that's an X, right? And, uh, the way that it was slanted and the way that it was looking, of course, you'd have to see the, the live video. We did a live video while it, was, while it was happening. Not after, but while it was happening. And it was taking place at 8.25 p.m. And so, you know, on 4.25, at 8.25 p.m., 50 all the way. You understand? And it was so real. I mean, we've seen some things we're about to put out on the uh, wall today over there at the uh, I Am Sit. I mean, you'd have to take that little bop over there. And we're going to put out that one word um, was at the postal. His servant was at the postal and went to get out of glory. And uh, what got his servant immediate attention was like, it was like these little black specks, you know, you you know, look like March that was in the sky. And I was like, what is that? And, uh, you know, but before that happened, Kate, Kate missed this. Before that happened, we heard the word, look at me. These words, look at me. And that's when his servant said, what is that? You understand? And so that's when we took that picture. Wish we did a video of that, but we took the picture, the actual picture that day, put it out that day. That happened on January the 20th, so we're going to put that out because today is the 20th. So we're going to put that out on today, 2020. Put it out on 20, day 20. Um, but you, you're going to see when you zoom into that, you're going to see what that looks like. And that was when we captured um, an image of the Lord. Now, you know, those that get within that arm reach and a hug, what, where we're going with this. You know exactly where uh, MD is going with this because it was after that day, fast forward, it was after that day, which is right here on this t-shirt, 42521, where we went to walk in this unit and we was like, that's crazy. You know, nobody's going to believe that. That's crazy. And it was as soon as we started saying that, that's when we were reproved by the Spirit of God to say to no more say the, the things that I, had, his servant, personally have encountered to consider that it's crazy or even way out there, but to call it for what it is and to call it eternal. So what others might think is crazy is the eternal. So, so that's how we have to approach this now. You understand? Because if you say something's crazy, then, then the next thing people will start thinking is crazy, then they'll have you as being crazy. No, the Spirit said to a servant, that's eternal. It's those mysteries. It's those things that, that, that uh, um, others, even those that are elder and older, have uh, desired to see and have not. That the Spirit of God has opened his servant eyes to see these things. 
And so um, we had to do it. And so uh, we just recently just got off the phone, letting them know that this is not it yet. You understand, we really need that, that photo, the photo, nothing added. You don't have to darken it or anything. Just, just, just capture that. You said, you said, send in that photo, the, the original photo, you will zoom in on it and you will take that zoom um, copy and you would put it on that t-shirt and uh, it they're close it's there but it's not that dark right but that's the actual uh, what went from looking like a star to to looking like a a cross um, to you know go back and look at it again so so when we went out there then that's when we saw and heard it it, it, it was a it was an X now you believe in coincidence, MD don't. Straight up believer, all right? Um, you might be superstitious, MD not. Just all the way supernatural. That what is the chances? For some, it would be slim to none. But to a servant, absolutely perfect timing. Things like this happen with perfect timing. So the odds and the chances of his servant capturing that on this day goes like this. And we're going to put all of these videos here so you can see what, what his servant is really talking about. It goes like this. We did a rain because we knew it was coming. We knew the thunder was coming and all of that because we knew that this man by the name of Earl DMX Simmons that when his spirit, you know, reached a high place and got the attention of his servant, that we had to observe it. We knew that he had a strong spirit. To get that high up, you have to have a very strong spirit. That means you're very close to God. Very, very close to God. And so, that being said, um... We knew the weather was going to be shifting and there was going to be a change in all in the weather. We were looking for it to happen on the 24th, uh, but on the 25th is when, which was April the 25th of 2021, is when they laid him to rest. You know, they go on um, the actual real deal. The other one, I believe, was like a celebration of life and all of that. But the, I believe 25th was when they actually laid him to rest. Or you know what I'm saying. The, the actual funeral. MD just don't like to call it funeral. Find another word for that. Put him on his way. Send him to flight. You know, flight. We'll find a higher word. Trust me, we will. Just don't like that word funeral. Especially for those that we know have a strong, a strong spirit like this. All right? Um, and so, um, we were looking for that rain to come on the 24th, the weather to really change. And it started like it was, and then it, it resumed like normal. But then the next day, right on this day here, uh, we did a video because the weather really changed uh, suddenly. Then we had, um, you know, heavy rain. We did that, we did a video, um, and we titled it DMX Rain. And uh, it was a twofold. Rain and then, you know, R-A-I-N-R-E-I-G-N. So we did that. And while we were doing, while, while his servant was doing that video, there was this real sharp lightning. And this is eternal. Okay, we were about to say that word crazy. But like we said, we will reprove uh, it's eternal. So, so here come an eternal moment, all right? So lightning fell. So I was like, oh, Lord, you know, I was like, and honestly, this is how service said, oh, no, he didn't make it. You understand? I was like, he didn't make it. He got there and was kicked out. He didn't make it. That's eternal, you all. Sharp lightning fell. I'm like, oh, Lord, he didn't make it. So I questioned, you know, did he make it? Did he, was he really in that high place? Did he really get there and stay? 
you know, and like, you know, we look at lightning falling, unlike others, we take it for, you know, word value that, you know, how I saw Satan falling, you understand, like, like lightning, you understand, so we, we take that very seriously, so I was like, oh my goodness, he didn't make it, so I was like, you know, had that question and wasn't sure, so this is what brought us to where we are now, fast forward, because later on that night, that's when this happened. And it came with a bright light. I'd fallen asleep in that big chair in that other room. And I fell asleep and the light was so bright. It was like the moon literally came and put itself right at that window. And the light was so bright as if someone was right outside my door with, with their, you know, lights on their vehicle, you know, on high beam. That's how close that light got to. And I was like, what is that? You understand? And it got his servant attention. And the next thing I was like, that's not the moon that bright. I was like, well, you know, I'm going to capture this one here. Normally I do the sun. You understand? And I only did like one video with the moon. But this one right here was very different. So I said, I got to go see that light. So, you know, MD is drawn to that light. Got to hurry. And because the servant was drawn to that light, Get there, and that's what that's what took place. It started looking like a star. It started out looking like a star. You understand? Then it it it's a cross, and then go back and look at it again, and then that's an X. And so it was right then that the Lord let me know He made it. He made it to me. He made it to the other side. You understand? And I had that peace because I I need you to understand about the eternal, and I need you to stop saying that it's crazy. And learn to receive in your spirit. You understand? That that this is the eternal. And as way out as it is. And, and unbelievable. And many would use just like MD. That's crazy. And that's one of my favorite sayings. Because I've seen it so, you know, I'm, you know, so many visits like this. And so many encounters to the point that I'm like, that's crazy. You understand? And it's just a slang for his servant. But the Lord reproved me after that night. After 425, and he said, no more because I need you to get over to my people. Uh, you know, get it over to them that, that the eternal exists. And every doubt that I had, I wasn't certain because of that sharp lightning. And it happened on that day. And I was like, oh, I was like, he didn't make it. And then all of a sudden, you understand, the Lord let me see the messages that I received from him. The first message he came through the helicopter, I'll say it again on this video, because we'll do more about uh, this, because we're bringing people to, now we understand the Isaiah, the Isaiah, you know, six, uh, 60 and, and, uh, and, uh, and 15, we understand that now, we understand the eternal excellency, joy of many generations. We understand it now, right? And I need you to under, that's that all of this brought us to that understanding. And so, you know, we couldn't stop it there because, you know, some more things are coming. We're going to talk about this all the way up till we actually get the other t shirt and see how much they improve that. But that is the original, what we saw in the sky that day. Look at that. And then the Lord let me see the journey, you understand, of the eternal. You understand, from that's why it appeared first as a star. Then it went to the cross. And then it, it you know, put on that identity of the X, you understand, to represent the eternal. And it was not by coincidence, superstitious, that it happened the very day that they are, you know, holding till we get a higher word his funeral right there on this act absolute day right there that that that's the day right there and so we knew that every message that we received from him first of all to get his servant attention through the helicopter at first never knew the man never met the man but the more we look into his life um, his life resembles my father all the way, all the way, all the way, um, you know, and, and, you know, you couldn't have told his servant that, you know, someone like my father exists beside myself, 
and then to see this this man with such a uh, so much in his life that's like you couldn't pick him apart from my father he was really a very special man very special very chosen um and all and so we capture that we've put it on a t-shirt um and uh, you're going to hear more about this in days to come months to come because he's joined us with uh it's, it's beyond his birthday being on december the 18th and for 18 day 18 for us as it is seen and heard and observed uh, throughout the uh the blessed of promise the bop day 18 is always uh the day that we use for signs so we get all the signs out on that day that have come to a servant um, through spiritual encounters and experiences and things like that. So he joins that. I'm sure you've probably seen it on the wall of um, I Am Sent Me and also on the introduction wall, even at Mother Doris, uh, authentic page. But um, it was so powerful. And uh, hopefully you'll look at this one here. You'll zoom in. We'll put the videos of uh, that night when it was happening. We'll put that up. Hopefully you'll zoom in on that. Um, so you can see how true this is. And you're not crazy either. It's eternal. Um, and then, um, and because people don't talk about it, that's what makes people feel like they're crazy or make others, you know, who haven't experienced think it's crazy. And the only words they have for it is like superstitious or coincidence. And when it comes to the spirit, um, and the movement of the spirit is not crazy, it's not superstitious, and neither is it a coincidence. It's the way of the spirit. And so we're going to be talking about this for a very long time uh, so that those that um, perhaps are superstitious or um, think very strongly about coincidence, that it would even... Uh, transform, renew all of that, their mind, um, to be able to look more for a day like this um, and to not fear death. Um, and can his servant answer it now? Yes, we absolutely can. Is there life after death? It sure is. And it's called eternal life. And we're going to talk more and more and more and more because we've had too many um, encounters to just keep pushing it under the rug. And, you know, how many more do you need, the Lord said to me, to, to open your mouth? This one was it. Uh, that's all we needed was this, this day right here. And so we're going to put all of this up on, um, it's already there, but this is the new one. Um, and the... Uh, we did a, a closer, a more closer up, uh, you know, zoom in so we can have it just, you know, we want to get to that excellency where it, it is what it is. But that's what it looks like. And you can see, you know, it, it first looked like a star, then it looked like it was a cross. And, and then it, it, it went to, it literally slanted itself. I just had them to straighten it up so I could put it on the T-shirt. But it literally slanted itself when the Spirit said, go back and look again. And I was like, that's an X. And I, you know, his servant really knew that all three, three times before he communicated uh, as he was walking that high place. He communicated the first time through the helicopter. Uh, he thought I forgot, but we didn't. Um, through the helicopter, he let me know that, um, you know, he saw the love. And uh, tell him I love him. I love him too. And we put that out, you know, the very first, like when this was happening, and that was, eight, that was April the 9th, and that was in the wee of the morning at 1.44 a.m. And he was still with us at that time, body-wise. And, uh, and, uh, and so after that happened, and he got his servant attention, uh, with the loudness of that helicopter as if it was right in his servant ear. And I knew I knew communication, something was, you know, coming through the spirit and I needed to 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 hear or yield my spirit to what was coming in. And um 
I knew he was he was going very shortly after that. And he left that night, I believe that day, that very day, exactly what time, I don't know, but I know it was later on that day that the word that all of us heard that he had passed. And that was on the 9th. But at 1.44 a.m. in the morning, he was in the high place of the spirit and he was communicating to his servant. And then he also, when I did the rain that day, when I did the rain, I shared with you how he said to me that they thought that I was going to leave, um, that I was going out quietly. That's what he said. His exact words is they thought I was going out quietly. Um, and, uh, and I put that in the rain because that's what he said. Um, and it was so much noise. That's why he's making so much noise. And that's why he's still around. <laughs> you understand? And it's like, you know, his name is being buzzed so loudly. And so it's like he's talking very, very strongly because it's not that his spirit is not at rest because it is. But there's so much to this. There's so much to him um, and all um, that even those that thought he was going to leave or go out, though these are his words, go out quietly. Um, he's, he's, he's letting them know, you know, that's not going to happen. Uh, he's not going to leave. He's not going out quietly. That's his words. Um, and so we, we said that. And then when this happened right here, we went from the star to the cross uh, to the X. Uh, he, these were his words. He's all right. Just like that. And those were three strong um, communications aside from the, 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 the one that we put uh, that later came that he said he did not overdose. And so these were his words exactly um, through the spirit. Of course, those that get with their arm reach and a hug, um, the gift that God has given me, um, we can't use it for evil. So we say we don't talk to the dead. And so um, what we talk to is like we talk to Jesus. <laughs> and people think Jesus is dead, but we know Jesus is alive. So we're not talking to the dead. We're talking to um, a soul of a spirit that has lived and will live forever. Hopefully that's a good way to put it. If not, we'll be looking for all the right words uh, in all. Because we know those that are dead, you, you let the dead bury the, be the dead. And... And uh, we'll get more into this. Like we said, we're going to be into this for a while. We even started what you're going to see. We started that on the YouTube and we titled that, and we'll talk more about that as well. We titled that this that we're going to talk about because it's going to be a while until we can get over to uh, those that are believers, even doubters, uh, the, those that are superstitious. Uh, don't believe in the supernatural. We're going to keep on until you can see. Um, and so we started uh, on the, it's, we already have a channel on, I, on um, YouTube. It's called I Am Sit Me. And uh, that's our private light collection. And we've already started a series there with uh, Mercy. Mercy, she hopes. Um, and the theme came from like, you remember that one picture, uh, that uh, one uh, TV show used to be his servant favorite because we used to love to figure, we love fi figuring out mysteries. Oh my goodness, we love figuring mysteries out. Um, it's part of that gift as well. And uh, so instead of, that's already been done. So the Lord gave us to use, instead of, you know, she used murder, she wrote. And the Lord gave it to us to say, mercy, she hopes. And so we started that there. We've started some videos and putting them out there. So you might want to uh, take a little trip to our YouTube, I Am Sent Me. Um, and then don't forget to click on that su subscribe when you get there. Uh, just want to fill you in um, because we have more coming and all. And this is, this is just one of the t-shirts we were just, we put it out there so we could just have one in our hand just to show you. But the, um, we worked on it some more, and we did not want them to take away from the original. And when they did the background that they did, they took away all the original, and it just looked like a regular something that someone else could just like, oh, I had this, whatever. But for you to see that we took it from off the video itself, and we did a, we actually did do a photo that night. Uh, you hear a servant saying it, actually, while we're doing the video. 
where we said, let me get a photo of this. And that's what we did. And we sent that. And uh, this is not the best they can do. We're trying it again. And uh, we should have the other one in around June the 2nd or the 3rd. So when we get that, we'll see the difference with that. Uh, but any way you look at it, we're going with that because this is that original of what it looked like. And you can see it's the same when you go here and then you go and you look at it on the, um, you know, on the, uh, uh, you know, video. I believe that's what we're saying. But uh, um, we still don't know why they, they're not able to get the blue part in it because it's more like a misty blue, bluish gray, but it was very... It wasn't as dark as what I'm looking at this here, even though it was like 8.25 p.m. at night. Uh, but anyway, we're at our 25 minutes, but we're gonna talk more about this. It, it gets deeper as we go. And like we said, it's not crazy, it's eternal. All right, this is the voice of High Servant Mother Doris, founder of I Am Set Me, builder of the storehouse. You have a nice day.